Hello everybody, in this video we will learn how to do an image filter in frequency domain using Laplacian filter. So Laplacian filter is a filter that we can use to enhance an image, make our image become sharper. According to the digital image processing textbook, this is the step of image enhancement using Laplacian filter in frequency domain. The first equation here is the Laplacian transfer filter function. We use this filter to create a Laplacian of an image by multiplying the Laplacian filter with our image in frequency domain and take the inverse Fourier transform. Then we add our original image with the Laplacian image and we get our enhanced image. Actually, there is a problem in this image enhancement process. The value of Laplacian image is much larger than the original image. So if we add these two variables right away, we won't get the enhanced image as we want. In this textbook, they explain in order to deal with this problem, before we transform our image into a frequency domain, we need to normalize our image into range from 0 to 1, and we also need to rescale or convert the value of Laplacian image into range negative 1 to 1. The first step, we need to transform our image into frequency domain. Here I open this moon image using OpenCV function cv2.imread and I normalize this image by dividing it with the image maximum value which is 255. Using numpy function np.fft.fft2, I transform this image into frequency domain and then using the np.fft.fft shift, I shifted the low frequency into the center. Next, the second step, we create the Laplacian filter function following this equation. We get variable p and q which is the total number of rows and columns using add.shape method. Next, we create metric h using numpy function np.zeros. This metric h has size p by q and initially all the value is zeros. Using the for loop and the Laplacian equation, we change the value in matrix h and with that we get our Laplacian filter. In this video, our Laplacian filter has value from negative 4 million up to negative 9. So the negative 4 million show as a black color and the negative 9 show as a white color. Third step, we create our Laplacian image by multiplying our Laplacian filter with our image in frequency domain. Before we take the inverse Fourier transform, we need to return back the low frequency from center to the corner using the nt.fft.ifft shape and then we take the inverse Fourier transform and take the real value so we get our Laplacian image. Here the Laplacian image has value from negative 100 to positive 100. If we use this Laplacian image to enhance our image, we won't get our enhanced image as we want. Therefore, the fourth step we need to rescale or convert our Laplacian image. Our scale Laplacian image as a value range from negative 1 up to positive 1. This code here is the pattern code that you guys can use to rescale the value in the Laplacian image. Finally, we add our original image with our scale Laplacian image. Our original image has pixel value from 0 up to 1 and our Laplacian image has value from negative 1 up to positive 1. So after we add these two variables, the resultant image has pixel value below 0 as well as larger than one. That's why our enhanced image looks like this one. To deal with this problem, we need to clip the pixel value using numpy function np.clip. np.clip will change any value below zero to zeros and any value larger than one to one. So this is our final enhanced image. Okay, let us move to Spider IDE and put all this code into one Python script file. So this is the Spider IDE. The first step, we need to import some libraries. Here, I'm using three libraries. The first one is the OpenCV, and the second one is NumPy, and the third one is Metroid.PyPlot. Next, we open our original image using OpenCV function cv2.imread. So initially, uh, our image here has a value from 0 up to 255. Next, we normalize this uh, image by dividing the image with the maximum value 255. 
Okay, so now our image has a range from value 0 up to 1. And if you want, you can use the I'm show to display this image. Okay, let's run this code. Okay, this is the original image. Next step, we transform our image from spatial domain into frequency domain using np.fft.fft2 as well as we shifted the low frequency into the center using mp.fft.fft shape. Okay, let's run this code. Okay, so the variable capital F here is our image in frequency domain. As you can see here, the value is a complex number. And if you want to display or plot this uh, variable f, we need to take the absolute value which, which is calculate the magnitude of value in every pixel and then take the log of that value. Okay, let's run this code to display this variable capital F. Alright, so this is our image in frequency domain. Next, we create the Laplacian filter. So this code is same as the one in the slide. Let's run this code. And so we get our variable h, which is our uh, Laplacian filter. And if you will need to display this uh, filter, you can use the plt.imshow function. OK, so this is our Laplacian filter. Next step, we create a Laplacian image by multiplying our Laplacian filter with our image in frequency domain. And then we take the inverse shape to return the low frequency from center to the corner. And then take the inverse Fourier transform and take the real part of this result. OK, let's run this code. Next, we change or rescale the scale the value in our Laplacian image into regs negative one and positive one. Okay, let's run this code. And if you want to display our scale Laplacian image, you can use the plt.im show. Let's run this code. Okay, so this is our Laplacian image. Next, we enhance our image by add our original image with our Laplacian image and then we clip the value so the value will range from 0 up to 1 and display it using plt.imshow ok let's run this code ok so this is our enhanced image which is looks sharper compared to our original image and if you want to use this uh, Laplacian frequency domain filter you can visit my github i put the link in this description okay so this is all about this video i hope you learned something useful and see you on the next video